Hi, Peter Cargill here. Hope you've been following the uh, exploits of the thermometer as it evolves. Uh, this is the latest incarnation. It's coming along very nicely, and I'll very quickly take you through the whole thing for people who haven't looked at this before. So what this is, this is an attempt to use Node Red and Node Red dashboard to produce uh, a pretty looking uh, app that controls the heating, both from a perspective in instantaneous changes and the overall schedule. So let's have a look at this screen. The top half is your instant, let's have some more heat section, and the bottom half is your scheduler. Let me take you through the scheduler first. I think you'll be impressed by how quick this can be. So we want to set up the heating. We've got 24 hours in the day. You can control each hour. So let's say that the minimum temperature you want is say 16 degrees. See that there? Okay, so there's a replicate button here, a copy button. We're going to copy that to 24 hours of the day. So that's the basic heating. Uh, maybe at 8 o'clock we're going to start knocking the temperature up to 20 by 9 o'clock. We're assuming you're staying in the house all day. Um, oh, maybe at night you want it even a little bit warmer. And then getting towards the end of the night, you're dropping down a bit. And so that's the whole day. Right, click on days and replicate all the days. Right, that is your schedule for the week done. I'm going to save that now with the save button. Let's say on Saturday we like it a bit cooler, just on Saturday only. There you are, there's the whole week programmed up. So, I've uh, got some... Uh, oh, uh, oh, yeah, you can change the uh, away. That's if you're away from the house for a certain length of time, temperature, and the frost temperature. Right, let's have a look at the thermostat at the top. It's currently showing 26 degrees. I'm going to press a button here to simulate change of temperature down to 18 degrees. And there you see it moves down to 18 degrees. Right, so up at the top, I have a set temperature and a weight temperature. So the set temperature is your quick fix. Okay, it's 18. You want the heating up. Um, we'll... Um, We'll actually set the set temperature to 23 degrees there, shall we? So if I click on the set temperature itself, it zeroes it out, and that is showing you what the actual set temperature for today, for this time of the day, is. If I might want to manually override it, so you can see that moves up, and this is temporarily showing you what you'll be setting the temperature to, you can click on the thermometer at any time to return to the actual temperature. So we've set 27 degrees there, which is a bit ridiculous. Um, now let's, so that's the heating that will stay, uh, that will go up to 27 degrees for a couple of hours, and then it will go back to the default settings. So I think that's fairly common on these things. When I say a couple of hours, you can make that whatever you want in the code. So <clears throat> the away settings, let's say I'm planning on going away for a, a three or four hours. So now you see the set temperature becomes uh, locked and we're away out of the house for two hours or indeed two days, three days, four days. So now uh, the away temperature setting down here, that is what the system's set to and these buttons don't do anything. If you want to clear that because you come back earlier than you were expected, just hit on the away and you've cleared it and you're back to the original uh, set. The status, if we just pretend we've had another temperature reading, the status uh, will normally show you the humidity or, or whatever else you've piped into there. Um, I've made that flexible so that uh, if you adjust the set temperatures, it, it's clear here that what we're looking at here is the settings and, and not the actual real values. And that pretty much is it. You've got full control over the heating, seven days. Uh, this could easily be expanded to multiple zones. Uh, using the same idea, uh, you can replicate an hour or you can replicate a day. Well, if you had zones, you could replicate the entire zone and make multi-zone heating really not take any longer to set up than a single zone heating. Anyway, there it is. On the right of the screen, you should be seeing all sorts of information so you can see where we came from and where this is going. Thanks for watching.